Um. Good morning, giraffe class, and happy Good Friday. Um, since it's Good Friday today, that means that Easter is on Sunday, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful Easter spending it with your families. I went around the house and found some activities that you guys can do with hopefully some things that you have around the house. The first thing is plastic Easter eggs. Hopefully you have them. What I went ahead and did is I wrote my uppercase letter on the top of the egg and my lowercase letter on the bottom. And then I line it up and then I pinch it and then I've got my uppercase A, whoopsie, and my lowercase A. And I stuck it in an empty egg crate. If you don't have one of those, just put it in your Easter basket. And then here is an, our B, uppercase B, and lowercase B. Line it up. Got it. And C, uppercase C, lowercase C. Got it. And so on. You'll go all the way A through Z. And once you get all of your eggs in your basket or in your crates, you can go on an Easter egg hunt. Outside, inside, and until you have a complete set A through Z, you'll know that you're missing something if you don't have A through Z. If you don't have plastic eggs, I went ahead and did it on a piece of paper. Uppercase A, lowercase A. Could have it be a tabletop activity where you just match, like either a memory game or you can just match them up. And then we've got B, uppercase and lowercase, and C, and so on. All right, so that's that. And then another thing we can do with, hopefully if you have an empty uh, toilet paper roll, <laughs> which most of us should have that, um, is make an Easter egg bunny. I mean, a, um, East, yeah, an Easter bunny. Um, so this one is one that we did last year with my niece, Clover, and she has named this one Bunny Bunny. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it with just stuff around the house. Here is your empty toilet paper roll. You're gonna find a piece of paper, cut it to fit. You'll need some tape, you stick it on. You make some bunny ears, whoopsie, with some extra pieces of paper, whatever color you want. And on her, she stuck a little a cotton ball for his tail. And then she made a face, and she even did a little Easter basket. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's kind of a fun thing to do too. And then another thing that I'm gonna do with my family is Easter bingo. I know how much you guys love to play um, bingo in our classroom. This one's a little different because our squares have numbers. Um, I found this off the internet. It printed about eight boards for my family. Um, so you can find this pretty much anywhere. Um, it also prints out the numbers for you to call. I've gone ahead and cut them, or a few of them, and I'm gonna stick them in my Easter basket and we'll have somebody call out the numbers. And until somebody says, bingo, then the game's not over. All right, my friends, so those are the activities I found. And my son's favorite books when he was little was PJ Funny Bunny. Don't know if y'all have ever heard of them, but I am gonna read this book to you today, and it is called The Perfect Hiding Place. And it is by Marilyn Sadler, illustrated by Roger Bolin. One afternoon, PJ Funny Bunny and his friends were playing hide and seek when PJ's little sister, Honey Bunny, came along. Can Donna Duck and I play too, she asked. PJ and his friends did not usually play with girls, but to everyone's surprise, PJ said yes. So Honey Bunny and Donna Duck ran off to find a, a hiding place. They were so happy. At last, they would be playing with the boys. What are you doing, Richie Raccoon asked PJ. I thought we didn't play with girls. We don't, said PJ, let's go. Then PJ and his friends got on their tricycles and rode away. Honey Bunny and Donna Duck found the perfect hiding place. It was on a small ledge on the bank of a stream behind a large bush. They'll never find us here, said Honey Bunny, as they settled down to wait. PJ and his friends soon forgot about Honey Bunny and Donna Duck. They, they were having way too much fun racing tricycles to think about them. They didn't think about them while they were playing badminton either.
and they certainly didn't think about them while they were climbing trees. Soon it was time for dinner, and PJ and his friends had to go home. Where's Honey Bunny? PJ's mother asked him. For the first time, PJ remembered Honey Bunny and Donna Duck. Suddenly, PJ felt a little ashamed that he had tripped them. Um, she's playing hide and seek, said PJ. I'll go find her. So PJ gathered up his friends and went back to the woods to look for Honey Bunny and Donna Duck. It was starting to get dark. They searched for a long time in all the usual places, but they could not find the girls anywhere. I'm hungry, said Potts Pig. Richie Raccoon and Buzz Beaver were tired, but PJ made them keep searching. PJ was getting worried about his sister and Donna. PJ and his friends agreed they would never again trick Honey Bunny and Donna Duck. Then all of a sudden, PJ heard Honey Bunny's voice. This is the perfect hiding place, she was saying to Donna Duck. They have been looking for us all day. PJ and his friends were so relieved to find them. It had not been easy. Then PJ had an idea. Honey Bunny, Donna Duck, he shouted. I give up, I can't find you anywhere. Honey Bunny and Donna Duck leaped from their hiding place. Here we are, they shouted. Honey Bunny and Donna Duck were so happy. We won at hide and seek, said Honey Bunny. But best of all, she added, we can play again tomorrow. <laughs> it's a cute book. All right, my friends, happy Easter. Enjoy it with your families, and I'll see you next time, okay? Mwah!